Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to continue Niagara Shapes and Surfaces in Unreal 4. But we're going to do something that's a little bit inspired by Star Wars or Star Trek when they go into hyperdrive. It won't be really fancy, it'll be a little simple. But so the first thing we want to do is we want to right click in our content browser and we're going to create a Niagara emitter from a blank template, an empty template. <clears throat> and name it NE, whatever you want. And then we'll open that up and we'll hit save so we can compile it. And right away, we're going to go to emitter update. And in here, we're going to add a spawn rate. And this is going to be something like 300. Just save that so it compiles. And we're going to go down to initialize particle. And we're going to make sure that the sprite size mode is set to uniform. And we'll do something like seven. And then in particle spawn, we're going to add a location. And the location that we want is cylinder. This is the shape that we want. And for right now, we'll make this a little bit taller. We'll make it something like 300. It's a little taller. And if we go and take a look at the advanced options here, you'll see that we get some options for surface only band thickness. And if we turn that on, that's going to add here all the particles to the surface with a little bit of a thickness. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to turn off use end caps. So if we turn that off, that'll remove the end caps. And now we have a tunnel next. So we can get some movement. We're going to do add velocity and particle update. And you're probably going to get this fix. So we want to click fix issue and that'll give us solve forces and velocity. And you can do this in either direction that you want. But I'm going to do this negative on the z-axis. I'm going to do negative 10 for now. And if we play this right now, you'll see that these are starting to move towards us if we bring our camera down and into it. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to get these to scale. So in particle update, we're going to click on the plus and we want to look for scale. And we want scale sprite size by speed. And for me, I want these to stretch on the y-axis and not on the x-axis. So I'm going to change this to 0.5 on both of these. And then I'll set the y to something like, I don't know, 20 and 10. We might come back and change this more. Maybe we'll do that a little less, actually. Let's see, 15. And right now, you'll see that without playing, you can see that these are facing the camera. And in a way, they're not doing what we want them to do. So if we go to the sprite render, we want to go to alignment, and we want velocity aligned. And right away, you'll see that now they're tunneling towards us and stretching. So if we play this, now this is just a simple approach and a really fast first pass at trying to make this happen. But already, you can see how this is starting to feel like that Star Wars feel, you know, or any sort of warping through a tunnel in space. You know, say that we wanted to tighten this cylinder up a little bit, we could come to this lathe profile, and what we can do is, depending on the axis, depending on the axis here, we can, you can see right here, we can delete this middle one and we can say at the start of the tunnel, all the way at the top, it's a little more narrow. You know, so we can narrow that up a little bit at the top. Even more. Say 0 0.25, 0 0.15, no, 0 0.25. Very cool. All right, guys, if you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks, guys.